Hey guys, it's Kelly. Welcome back. Today I'm going to be sharing a full face of nothing new. So I have a ton of throwback items on my face today. I wanted to film this video because I've actually seen Allie Glines film a lot of these videos and I love watching her series because it encourages me to go back through my collection and reach for older products. And one thing I want to be very conscious of in 2019 is sharing content that helps you guys shop your stash and look back on older favorites, reuse products that you have not reached for in a long time. All of the products I'm using today, with the exception of like one or two, are in my current makeup basket from my Shop My Stash, so if you haven't seen that, I'll leave it in the description box below. This is the look I came up with. It's very bold and very blue, and I hope you guys enjoy it. Let's go ahead now and hop into it. All right, so starting off with the eyes, I want to combine two different palettes, partially because I have a look in mind, but also I wanna share with you guys how you can create looks using more than one palette. I did a video recently combining the Sultry palette and the Modern Renaissance palette just to share with you guys how you could create looks using more than one palette and not just feel confined to one. So these are the two that I'm gonna be working with in this video. I wanna do a blue look, so I kinda of wanna play with the blues in both palettes. I wanna utilize the mattes from Subculture. So I'm gonna start off with the shade Axis, but I'm gonna start off just kind of building this into the crease, and then I'm gonna to try to diffuse it out from there. By the way, I had already primed my eyes before I started. I just used my CoverGirl Lid Lockup. This is one of those looks where it's gonna look worse before it gets better. You just kind of have to go with it. So taking that same brush, I'm gonna start trying to feather this out a little bit. Okay, so I'm gonna pick up a little bit of like a skin colored shadow and use this to help fade the blue into my skin tone. This is a really good tip when you're working with palettes that are a little bit harder to blend, but you want the fade to still look nice. Now that I have this blue laid down, I'm gonna go in with a little bit more of Axis and just start patting it on the outer third of the lid. Okay, so now I'm gonna go in with a little bit of concealer and cut the crease, just cut the like inner half of it so that I can lay down some of the blue shimmers from Juvia's. All right, now for the fun part, I'm going to work a few of these blues onto the lid. I'm gonna take Zola, more so on the inner corner, and then I'm gonna use the shade, it's so dirty I have like powder over the shade names, Dahlia, uh, the like royal blue, I'm gonna use that more so in the center. So I'm really pleased with the blues on the lid, but I am just not happy with the way I faded out the blues from Subculture. I'm trying to decide if I just wanna sit there and blend at it more, or maybe try and work one of these browns into the crease too. I might regret that. I don't know, because I really wanted this to be just a blue look, but I'm just not happy with this. I'm just gonna take a little bit more of my face powder and try to blend it. And now I'm just trying to decide if I want to line the cut crease with a glitter liner. This is the shade Gamma Ray from Urban Decay. And I think I'm going to. I'm not gonna add a ton to it, but just, just enough. All right, so I'm gonna finish up the rest of the eyes later, but right now I'm gonna work on the face. I'm gonna go like wipe away all this fallout and wash the blue glitter off my hands. Okay, if I'm being honest, I'm not loving this eye look right now, but we'll see how it all comes together. Sometimes you have to do the face for it to all look right. So I'm gonna take my Pixi Glow Mist and use this as my primer. I've got a ton in my eyes. This bottle that I have is a big old dud. At least the like sprayer on it is. It just shoots out in a line. So that's why I'm kind of having to rub it in with my hands, even though in theory I could just spray it on. For my foundation, I'm gonna use my favorite from the summertime. This is the Ultra Repair Tinted Moisturizer from First Aid Beauty. I have mine in the shade Light, which is a little bit too dark for me. I don't really have much of a self-tan right now. So I'm going to mix this in with my Dream Tone Foundation from Manic Panic, which is just like a little white mixer. I always love this time of year. I feel like, I know people have mixed thoughts on the new year. I know a lot of people just feel like, you know, you should have goals year round, which I absolutely agree with. But I also think that there's something so refreshing about a fresh slate. And I feel like there's something so wonderful about the new year that allows you to have a timeline to kind of track 
your goals and track how you've done and at the end of the year you can say this is everything that I achieved in one year and personally I always feel so motivated at the start of a new year so I definitely want to hear your resolutions down below for me there are a lot of different things that I want to focus on this year um, 2018 was a really great year for me I got a dog I paid off my student loans I had a lot of personal accomplishments in 2018 but for 2019 one of my biggest things is I want to cut out dairy I became I've been vegetarian for a year and a half now and I started off as pescatarian which means you eat fish in 2018 at the, like the beginning of the year more so like springtime I cut out fish and just became a full-blown vegetarian and one thing that I've been slowly working on is also cutting dairy out of my diet like I don't drink milk I don't use a dairy coffee cream or anything like that but I love cheese uh, for my concealer I'm gonna mix my naked skin concealer and my Koki be bright and I also love ice cream way too much I should probably just cut out ice cream altogether in 2018 19 2019 I'm also gonna use the naked skin one to spot conceal because the naked skin concealer is close to my skin tone and then the Koki one I'm more so using to brighten a little bit, but I also want to continue to minimize waste in 2019. I use reusable bags, I use reusable straws, all that kind of stuff, but I just want to be even more cautious of like single use products that are in my life that I'm not even thinking about, like sheet masks, using a sheet mask once and just throwing it away and having the plastic that it comes in and then having to dispose of it just for something I used once. It had to be transported to the store, I had to go there and buy all this stuff for me to use it once and throw it away. So I just want to be more cautious of things that I'm using that are single use, things that are just unnecessary waste in my life. I also have a lot of goals for my channel. I want to focus more on drugstore in 2019. When I started my channel, I mostly used drugstore. And you know, as my channel has evolved, I've fallen in love with a lot of high-end products, but I also want to get back to drugstore. Oh, my face itches. I hate when you put your foundation on and you haven't like set it yet. I feel like I can't itch my face or anything. To set my face, I'm going to use a very hyped up powder from last summer. This is the Becca Hydra Mist Set and Refresh. You know, I personally found this powder, I'm going to get so much in my mouth when I'm trying to talk, to be overrated as an under eye setting powder. But now that I've had it in my makeup basket for my most recent Shop My Stash, I actually found out that I really like this for a face setting powder. It's just very smoothing. To bronze, I'm gonna use one of my favorites. This is my Koki Powder Contouring Kit, and I'm gonna go in with the bronzer shade. But I definitely, like I was saying, I wanna do more drugstore related videos. I wanna do like a, like a beginner's makeup kit of all drugstore. So I have a lot more I wanna test out, especially now that CoverGirl is cruelty free and I have more drugstore options. Don't usually contour, but I'm gonna go in with the contour shade today. And one of those brands is definitely Flower Beauty. You guys are always recommending products to me from, to me from Flower, what? And I just watched a video Jessica Braun did recently talking about a lot of products, but one thing she mentioned in it was their cream blushes and you know i love cream products and i only have a handful of cream blushes in my collection so i kind of want to pick theirs up and test it out i've been thinking about filming a like introduction to cream products for you guys because a lot of you have been asking me kind of how i use creams for my blush an old favorite is my too faced i will always love you blush these little Too Faced Love Flush blushes used to be so popular. Do you guys remember that? I feel like they got so much attention on YouTube a couple years ago. Now this next product doesn't totally match with this look, but I wanted to use it because it's in my makeup basket. And the other highlighter in my makeup basket is a newer highlighter, so I didn't want to use it in this video. But this is a pink highlighter, so it's probably going to clash with like my orange blush and my blue eyeshadow. But this is Pillow Talk from Ofra. my brows another very old product this is the Anastasia brow Wiz. and now that I'm getting back into more like little defined brow pencils like this ones with like fine tips to them I want to try out some more especially drugstore options because even though I love this one I'm not gonna repurchase it when I finish it at least not full price I would on sale but it's hard for me to justify $20 for a brow pencil there are so many great drugstore options so I want to try the LA Girl Slady, Slady Shim, no, Shady Slim 
<laughs> brow pencil. Uh, it was Andrea Matiliano was talking about that one. I wanna say Nicole Renee has raved about that one also. I'm also gonna take my Essence Make Me Brow and just kind of feather it through my brows. Uh, another goal for 2019, or I guess resolution for me, is just to make more time for friends. I feel like the older I get, the harder this becomes because we all live so spread out. We live all different lifestyles, different work schedules, different just life schedules. So finding times where both of your schedules match up is sometimes feels impossible. So I just, I wanna make more of an effort in 2019. Okay, you guys, I've done everything on my face and I'm still not obsessed with this eye look. I just, I don't know. You know what? Sometimes I will do looks like this. I'm gonna put my mascara on. I'm gonna use the Better Than Sex from Too Faced. Sometimes I will do a look and I will just not be happy with it and I will delete it. I will just delete the footage and then film another video or just not film that day. And in 2019, I wanna stop doing that because not only am I wasting my own time just by being a perfectionist, but it's also not realistic for you guys to only see like, I don't wanna say a perfect look because my eye looks are never perfect, but like, I wanna show you guys like real life. I don't want you to watch a video and think like, oh, she just got that on the first try. Like, no, like sometimes I have to delete a video and wash my makeup off and try again. But I, in 2019, I wanna be as real as you guys, as with, as real with you guys as I can be. And I want you to see that there are plenty of times that I mess up and I'm like, you know, I'm not happy with this eye look. But instead of just trashing the footage, like I wanna share it with you guys because I want you to know that I make so many mistakes all of the time, but I'm a human being and that's okay. And sometimes I create an eye look that I don't like and I just, I need to stop being so hard on myself. Okay, so I really don't wanna do too much if anything to my lower lash line. So I think I'm just gonna add some mascara and I actually like that all of the drama is above my eyes. I feel like it helps keep my eyes lifted. So I kind of like that, but I want a fun inner corner. So I'm gonna take another throwback item. This is from Wet n Wild. It's the highlighter in Winter Falls in LA. It looks white in the pan, but it's actually blue. This is kind of a throwback. I got this last fall, but you could also exchange this for one of the Anastasia, like the Aurora Glow Kit, the Moonchild Glow Kit, and using like a fun duochrome blue shade in there, or even a duochrome green would be really cool with this. And then I might regret this, but I'm just gonna dust a tiny bit of that under my brow. That kind of makes the look a little bit more editorial to have a colorful shimmer under the brow. And you know what? This look is growing on me. I'm gonna go ahead and do my lips with my Favorite lip liner, I've had this for a long time. This is the shade Nude from NYX. And then I'm gonna blend that in with my finger because I think I mostly just want the lips to be this, but just to give them a little something, I'm gonna grab, grab, I'm gonna use the teeny, teeny, tiniest little bit of my Wet n Wild Liquid Cat Suit in Nudist Peach. This is a serious throwback for me. And you're gonna like put a little bit of this in the center and then kind of work it around with my finger. All right, so here is the completed look. I'm actually pretty pleased with the way it turned out. Even though I was not obsessed with the eye look, I still really wanted to share this with you guys to show you that it doesn't have to be perfect. You can still rock it, just do your best. I hope you enjoyed the way that this look turned out and I also really hope you enjoyed seeing me use some older products in my collection. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you want me to continue on with this series, let me know by giving the video a thumbs up and I will see you in my next one. Bye.